A motion in limine is a pretrial motion requesting that certain evidence be allowed or prohibited at trial. Wilson v. Williams explored the relationship between a judge's ruling on a motion in limine and the subsequent need to object to testimony at trial. Jackie Wilson and his brother Andrew were stopped by two cops. Each brother grabbed one officer's gun. Andrew shot them both. Wilson was found guilty as an accomplice under the felony murder doctrine. The court convicted him of one murder and sentenced him to life imprisonment without parole. While Wilson was in jail, prison guard James Williams attacked and beat him. Wilson sued Williams, seeking damages in a civil action. Before trial, Wilson made a motion in limine, asking the judge to prevent Williams from informing the jury that he was convicted of killing a police officer. He was afraid this history could be used to inflame the jury against him. The judge denied Wilson's motion. At trial, Williams's attorney announced to the jury that Wilson was a cop killer. He used every opportunity to remind the jury that Wilson had committed a despicable offense and was therefore unworthy of receiving damages. Wilson didn't object to these statements. The jury found for Williams. Wilson appealed to the Seventh Circuit. He argued that the judge should have granted the motion in limine and made the subject of cop killing off limits.